Hello and welcome to another episode of the Talking of Minds podcast. In this episode we'll be talking about sleep and dreams in particular. What are the latest findings and hypotheses that we have uh, to explain the phenomenon of dreams? Uh, and this should be said in the beginning that uh, the research on dreams is not uh at a very advanced level we where we can have conclusive findings and most of the findings that we have currently are liable to change in the light of uh further evidence and the studies that or we already have on uh, dreams and sleep have been interconnected and it is only very recently that uh, science itself has started to uh research on these two phenomena as differently speaking of sleep itself uh one thing that we can say conclusively about sleep is that sleep is very much connected or related to the memory processes in our brain and particularly that sleep helps in the consolidation of memory uh in what we call uh, of the transferring of memories to the long term memory for retention and learning and in a study published in July 2019 in the current biology journal showed that a, a single night's rem sleep uh, deficiency that is when you have not got enough rem rapid eye movement sleep for even a single night that can have an impact on your brain functioning especially including the work of amygdala which is responsible for the consolidation of memories for uh, long term learning and uh, other functions as well so such is the importance of sleep to the process and working of our memory also it has been found that different kinds of memories are processed during the different stages of sleep for example declarative memory which is a fact based memory where you store facts about your world you know the world around us it benefits primarily from the slow wave uh, stage of sleep and procedural memory which is about remembering how to do things how to ride a bicycle or how to reverse a car or uh, you know the daily activities and so this procedural memory is related to more related to rapid eye movement sleep rem sleep now rem is a stage of the sleep where the brain activity resembles a lot uh, the waking stages of uh, our life and uh, the muscles are more or less paralyzed during rem sleep it was thought until Uh, recently that dreams happen only be during the rem sleep stage and uh, some latest studies and findings tell us that uh, dreams do happen during the other stages the, the non rem sleep stages also but there are differences in the form and maybe even content of dreams that happen during the different stages and speaking of dreams it is known that almost all people do have dreams but most of us do not recall most of those dreams and you know that's why some of us may think that we never have dreams or some people think that they have more amount of dreams uh, the fact is that most people most almost all of us have dreams but you know the recall levels uh, differ now the recalling of dreams particularly in conditions where we are stressed may also be related to poor quality of sleep that we get so if you are stressed or or for for some reason if your quality of sleep is not that good it is possible that you may have a disturbed sleep and you may remember some of your you know uh, bad dreams more than others some surveys have shown that globally there are some recurrent themes to dreams that people have along with that now individually we may all have dreams that or or parts of dreams or common themes of dreams that we have very meeting very often it has also been shown that globally uh, there are some themes that happen in uh, recurrently in uh, you know the dreams of people however neuroscience and you know the cutting edge science is more interested in the form or or the shape or the mechanism of dreams not on their content as such 
but uh, it has been shown that recurrent dreams of you know occur occur to around 60 to 75% of all adults and these recurrent or you know uh, repeating dreams or themes are more often seen in women than men speaking of common themes it has been seen that being embarrassed or you know the themes of embarrassment are the most uh, commonly reported dream theme around the world and these may include being inappropriately dressed or being nude in uh, in the public or uh, you know you are being unable to find a toilet when you you so badly want it another common theme is that of failure be you know failing at things maybe failing in an exam maybe you know failing to show up uh, at some place on time and those kind of uh, you know uh, themes related to failing in some things another major theme is uh, being chased by something or somebody and you know finding yourself at uh, you know blocked at by on while being chased by something or you know while running away from some things a lot of people do report uh, dream themes recurring dream themes with sexual content as well and speaking about what causes dreams or you know what is the purpose of dreams uh, there have been a lot of uh, speculations there have been a lot of uh, explanations and it has to be seen that none of the hypotheses can be called as uh, accepted uh, universally by the scientific community there is one popular explanation which says that dreams are the purpose of emotion regulation and this is a, you know there's a family of uh, explanations which start from uh, the interpretation of dreams by sigmund freud and others and uh, you know the freud's interpretation of dreams has been one of the dominant ideas in uh, psychology itself for decades however such uh, explanations are not backed up by empirical data another explanation that dreams uh, serve the purpose of selective forgetting uh, which can be uh, you know uh, helpful in learning process also this this explanation is not also not considered uh, significant nowadays there is another explanation that the memory consolidation process which uh, as we have already seen is very much related to the the process of sleeping is also related to uh, dreams that dreams help in this memory consolidation process but it also has been reported that only less than 1 to 2% of dreams reported by people have anything to do with their episodic memories or you know memories from their lives so that makes it a bit difficult to accept the memory consolidation hypothesis of dreams there is another theory called self organization theory uh, which combines the memory consolidation theory with uh, a, a view of the the whole process of uh, you know uh, brain the brain process as a self organizing uh, process the self organization theory is of a relatively uh, new origin it's it's a very recent uh, theory and Uh, there is yet a lack of empirical evidence to validate whether the self organization theory can explain dreams uh, satisfactorily there are another set of uh, views or theories on uh, you know the very working of our brain and its related processes which are related to uh, you know computers and their working there is one hypothesis that dreams serve the purpose of preparing uh, ourselves for real world problems that we may encounter later on and this view comes mostly because of the correlation between creativity and dreams and also you know the similarity of dreams to virtual reality systems and computer simulations you know how these are all very similar to how dreams happen so there is this explanation that uh, dreams have uh, the purpose of uh, you know readying ourselves for real world problems there is yet another model of you know brain 
uh, purpose is brain brain systems which is called the predictive processing model which uh, says that you know the brain is constantly trying to predict uh, you know uh, the future course of events that it may have to encounter and it is uh, being said that dreaming can be you know dreams can be a helpful part have a helpful part in this predictive processing process but uh, this predictive processing model itself is a very relative of a very relative origin uh, recent origin and uh, you know uh, we still need evidence for uh, this model to one of the latest hypothesis that has been proposed about dreams is the overfitted brain hypothesis by eric hall of tufts university now this term of overfitting comes from the machine learning lingo where you know the more self similar or biased a sampling or training data is uh, the more it will be difficult for the system to have you know accurate predictions uh, based on this data and to avoid this problem of overfitting sometimes we feed uh, de- deliberately feed incorrect data to a system to a self learning system so that it can optimize its decision making process and the overfitted brain hypothesis of dreaming conceptualizes dreams as a form of purposefully corrupted input which is given to the brain so that the brain can optimize its uh, you know uh modeling of the world it's it's, it's decision making capacities it can be seen that all of these models of dreaming or dreams that have originated from the computer model uh, are somewhat similar to each other and being all these theories being very uh, recent uh we still are waiting for evidence experimental evidence or empirical evidence to validate all these uh hypotheses it is quite possible that we may have more better explanations better theories to uh, explain dreaming or we may come up with uh, you know newer model which will combine some or most of these existing uh, explanations of dreams so to sum up it can be said that while uh, the relationship between sleep and memory is almost uh you know uh accepted knowledge uh the mechanisms and uh, you know the reasons behind dreams are still being uh probed by science and we are still waiting for more uh information on that area to come out so uh, that would be all about this episode on dreams and sleep thank you